Hey, welcome to Mercy's Designs. My name is Mercy and I still sell Stampin' Up! products. Today I want to show you this accordion card, which I turned into a mural. So my inspiration, it looks like this from the top, is from Trader Joe's, which is one of my favorite stores. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to have a mural? So this is sort of my version. This is a brand new set called Timeless Tropical. I'll bring that in. And I did bring in one stamp from a good man. But for the most part, it's the Timeless Tropical. I got this recently at On Stage and I wanted to share my idea here. So um, I, the first thing I'm gonna do is show you a couple templates. So I'm gonna slide this in, set this over here. And so the base is just, a normal um, folding base. So I'll bring that in. It's just, you know, um, cut at four and a quarter by 11. It's, the, well, you don't cut the 11 part and then you score it in half at five and a half. So that part is super, super simple. Nothing unusual there. And then um, this you fold, you cut at 10 and three fourths and then you score at the appropriate places, which is just under two and three fourths. Okay, so for the mural, I just um, go ahead and have a piece of three and three fourths by 10, and then I will cut this afterwards, after we um, do some of the basic stamping. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna bring in my um, stamp and trimmer, and we will start doing the accordion part, so take this tag away. I'm a little shaky because I feel really cold. The weather has gotten quite chilly and I was in the basement a while. So, all right. So my first measurement is going to be at five and three eighths. And I hope you can see this. So just typical score there. Now I'm going to go to two and three fourths, but instead of staying there, I'm just going to go one sixteenth of an inch over. It's very important. Now I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to do the exact same measurement, which is this almost two and three fourths, but a sixteenth inch less. So that is what your accordion um, matting will look like. So I'll just set that aside and we can start burnishing. So um, the first fold I like to do would be the center one. So I'm just going to flip this over. And I like to make sure that my everything is really lined up well. So take your time with that part. Now, this is now a mountain fold, which is the reverse of what you normally would have. <laughs> so that could be slightly confusing, but it's not bad. Now you just flip this into it and score and burnish. And I'm going to flip this one into it and burnish. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now it's like an accordion, just like that. So here is my base and we're going to go ahead and just finish this part and then we'll do some stamping. So what I like to do is kind of just eyeball it right now, but I like to line up these centers. The important, most important part is you're only gluing on these two sides. So I will go ahead and do that. Wow, I am cold. I'm really shivering. <laughs> oh, I should have done something to warm up before starting this video, but hopefully it won't be bad. And you'll get the idea how to make this really, I think it's really a cute card to do use. Um, it's a cute stamp set to use. And of course it's brand new, so that's always exciting. I won this at the Prize Patrol. I did order the dies, but this card, there's not a lot of fussy cutting because it's mostly part of the mural. So, okay, so, and then this just pops forward naturally. So you have it like that. Okay, so that's our base. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping. I've done quite a bit of stuff ahead of time just because we have you know, only so much time. So we're gonna start with the pineapple. And for the pineapple, we're gonna need Grapefruit Grove. We're 
going to need um, Depth of Delight and we're going to need Granny Apple Green and then Pretty Peacock. So um, to do this, all you're going to need are some daubers in. Let me see if I can, okay, I'm just going to put them in front of it so I don't confuse myself. And finally, the granny apple green is missing. Whoa. Now that's too bad. Okay, so I um, will go ahead and kind of do a little bit of a improvise since I forgot that. So what I'm going to do is just tap at the top there. And because I believe in rolling with things and trying to make things work even if it doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to keep my chamois handy because you will need the chamois. So this is the um, pretty peacock and I'm just adding a little bit more to one side than the other. Then I'm going to get my daffodil delight and I thought that the way the sun would hit it more likely would be this side. So I'm just going to hit on that a little bit. Oh, here is my granny apple green. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and add a little bit for good measure. I put it in the wrong spot. You must have thought I was so silly and seen that. Okay, here is the grapefruit grove. And now I'm just going to stamp this. And now we have a multi-toned effect, which Super easy, but really effective in my opinion. Okay, so the same thing I pretty much did for the flower, but a lot less colors. So we don't need this any apple green, but we will need lovely lipstick. So I'll just set that aside and bring this in. And I'll use a different scrap so we're not going off there. So for the flower, again, it's um, pretty straightforward, uh, but this time I'm just going to stamp onto the grapefruit grove. This is easier than the flower, and the flower really wasn't that bad, as you can see. And then just stamp. So what you get is this effect, and then if you want to get fancy, and you want a little dark tip, all you do is take your Stamp Right marker and color where that circle was, and you have that. So, pretty straightforward, fun. Okay, so while I have this out, I'm going to um, bring in some computer paper, and we're going to do a little bit of sponging. So, pretend I did this, I did this on the Stamparatus, and I stamped it twice. I did the same technique with first stamping with the Grapefruit Grove, then the Lovely Lipstick. Now I'm going to bring in my, um, I'm just going to move my stuff, my um, brush, the Tailored Expressions brush. I'm going to get a little ink here and I'm just going to strategically sponge, not too much, I, obviously I don't want the red because that would take away from the effect. And I'm not too worried about going out of the lines. When Once you've cut, fussy cut this, it's not too bad. And that will immediately, very quickly, add some color without having to be a lot of effort. So I um, did that and right now, though we're gonna switch gears a little bit and we're going to start doing our background, the mural, which is, kind of is definitely the heart of this whole card. So what I have is a Whisper White piece, and it's this three, I don't know if you can see this, three and three-fourths by 10 inches. So um, just wanna make sure it's completely clean. We're gonna do a little bit of light sponging. So I'm gonna bring in my Pool Party ink, and we're going to add a little bit of the pool party at the top. Oh, sorry about that. At the top, I'm going to 
get my other one out ready to go. At the pop, top, I can't speak, top of the scene. So I'm just brushing it on and I'm not terribly worried about doing a perfect job. Little white spots do not bother me because then that looks more like a natural scene. So here we go. One thing I do like about these brushes over the um, sponges is your hands do stay considerably cleaner. So that's a nice added bonus. So I don't want it too much darker than this, but I'm just working some color down further. Because I don't want a white paper. Okay, so that is pretty good and it will lighten a little bit. All right, so we're done with the blue. Now we're gonna bring in Sahara Sand. So here's my Sahara Sand. I'm not sure what's on that ink pad. And it is a good idea to start off the, um, the paper itself. So we're just adding a little bit down here. Now you could do masking, but I want it to be a real gradual look, so I do not want to mask in my case. Okay, so that is the pre-work. Now, you might have noticed that I drew lines on my grid paper, and there is a good reason for it. It will help me keep track of wh where the panels will be cut. Now, um, that is important because obviously we don't want to hear things where it's not a good place to cut it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at my card again. I'm going to put this in front of me, you won't see it, so that I have an idea where I'm going to lay out everything because I believe that you don't need to reinvent the wheel. So one thing I'm going to need is some soft suede. So I have my dauber here and this part is not too difficult, but if you forget, it's kind of annoying. Trust me, I do, did forget a few times. You're going to need your tree stamp, which um, I'm gonna to have to pause this and go get it because I realize that's the only stamp I'm missing. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So here is the palm trees. These are just beautiful. But of course, I do not want the branches to be um, the green. So I'm just going to, I'm not being super careful, stamp. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is take my chamois and I'm going to carefully wipe off where I didn't want the green. Now I'm going to get my sponge dauber. Let's see if I can do this gracefully. And I'm going to just daub on the brown. Okay, so step one complete. Now for this one, I'm going to make this one the lowest one on the page and the furthest to the left. So stamp there. Now I'm going to bring in my little bit of a mask. This part you could skip if you don't mind overlapping branches, which I think wouldn't look too bad. But since I already have it, I, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So again, actually, I don't think I have to wipe that. I'm going to try to show this. Now I'm going to stamp just on the green, I mean on the branches. I'm going to clean it up a little, which isn't too hard. And then I'm going to sponge on the trunks, the brown. And you don't have to be too obsessed about this. I mean, if you got a little green on the trunk, no one's going to probably notice. <laughs> So, um, boy, this has lost a lot of its stickiness. All right, so now I know, here, let's move this, that it's gonna be right here, my cut, but for this, I'm really not too concerned. I would prefer part of this trunk to be still on this page, though. So I'm gonna go up and stamp. And no two will be alike, okay? So here we have it, that over, it didn't, um, get all the way up, but I will go ahead and fix that with the, the Stamp Right marker or something, just kind of filling in a little. 
my mask must have moved a little, but you know, stuff happens, right? This is live. No, it's not really live, but I'm not going to redo that. <laughs> it's a minor issue. Easy to, enough to fix anyhow. Okay, so again, wiping this and then bringing in my soft suede. And I, it, this is going to be three times with this, um, you know, tree seam. Okay, so now I know this is my middle line. And I definitely don't want to get it too um, much over. In fact, I don't really want to get it over at all. So to be really careful, I have these little white scraps. So I know that I'm not going to get it over. So I'm just going to do this one fairly low and stamp. Okay. So we're done now with the tree. And we can keep going with the rest of the stamping. So here we know that our guy is going to be sitting. So I have several of these little scraps. So I kind of want to just center him between that. And I'm going to stamp our relaxing man in, of course, soft suede. So I'm just going to move this to this side so I don't get my arm in it. It's a little tight here where I'm trying to film this. So we're going to go ahead and stamp him right there. And isn't he a cool dude? He's really relaxing on the beach. So the next step is, remember how I did the sponging with this? Well, I cut, fussy cut one out ahead of time. And this is going to be up here. So. I want there to be a, a leaf coming out here, and this will be cut. So I don't want to use a fussy cut leaf. I want to just go ahead and use a straight um, stamped onto the background, mural type. Okay, so I'm going to kind of look at it and then go ahead and stamp it. And again, so this one I don't care so much if it's going over, so it is. <laughs> which is cool. All right, so now the last thing we're gonna do before we cut this apart is we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment above here. Now this is a little bit of a tricky part too. So I'm gonna get my scrap here, just so below here, and then we're gonna bring in our sentiment, which is our friendship is timeless. And there isn't much room for air here, but I do have a backup plan. But let's hope my head is going to get in here. So let's see if I can pull this off. Our friendship is timeless. Okay, so there we have it. And according to my thing, I did it. Okay, that's a relief. That's probably the trickiest part. And if you don't want to take that big of a chance, you could fussy cut this out and cut it apart. So, you know, you have that option. Okay, so um, I'm going to quickly color him in. And right here is Calypso Coral Light. And I'm not going to do a lot of coloring. So I might speed this up. Here we have it, him colored. So now I'm going to bring in, I'm gonna to have to move some stuff here. Sorry about the racket. Now we're going to bring in my trimmer. And you know me, I definitely like my guillotine. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it's bulky, but it does a great job. So each of these panels is going to be at two and a half. We're going to cut it down to two and a half. So I'll bring in my template just so you can see that. So, um, hmm, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm confusing myself here. So two and a half. We're just going to cut each one down. 
that. One. Two. Oh, my P is a little bit cut, but you know, this doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Just 90%. Okay, so <laughs> here are our pieces now. And now we just have to start assembling. So bring, I'll bring back in my base, but we're going to go ahead and add a little, do a little bit more stamping. So maybe that's a little premature. I said that too quickly. And so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and add hello here. You definitely know what you're doing better once you've cut this apart. So I'm just going to add hello. Sorry about my head, but I really would like to get that straight. <laughs> okay, so, and I also want to stamp here our sentiment, which is rest and relax. So we're going to just, I'm just going to move this over a little bit. And now we can um, start doing some of the um, pieces that I cut. So ahead of time, I showed us how I showed earlier how to stamp this, and I think everyone knows how to fussy cut. And then we're going to go ahead and attach these together. So I'm just going to add a teeny bit of glue right on the border here, just to add these together. I'm really cold, <laughs> so that will be like that, you know. Okay, I may as well just add them, right? Because this is a symbol of friendship, the pineapple. So I think it's really cool to have this friendship is timeless. And then we're going to go ahead and add this flower. And I'm going to be careful to, well, actually, I probably should have done that first. We're going to do the leaf. We're going to do it simultaneously because we're going to be able to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to add our uh, I kind of feel like this is covering too much. But now we're getting it set. So All right. Well, it's okay. One thing I I can do is just simply trim it. And no one will, we'll see. That one actually might not be a problem because of the um, base. Okay, so I'm going to leave that one. Now, one of the things I like doing is adding a little sun. So this is super, super easy. This is ridiculously easy. You just get your dauber. And you, here, I'll try to get this to make sure it's centered. You just turn it. And you've got a little sun. And it will lighten. It's always the darkest at the beginning. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add these pieces, these panels. I just love this card. I think it's so adorable. I hope, oh, well, one last piece I forgot. Our flower. How could I forget the flower? All right, so just going to add a little glue here. Now, if you wanted, you could probably add another leaf, but I kind of like it fairly simple. And this just fits onto this panel. Not a lot of extra room, but enough. So we're good. Now, to assemble this, you could lay this flat, which I will do. And I'll bring in my stamp, It's Your Birthday. And just set it here, just so it stays flat for me. Okay. So... Of course, the important thing is to keep your order correct. Really. It's like a puzzle, but it's a pretty easy puzzle. <laughs> it's very easy, actually. Definitely not a difficult puzzle. And you then do this. Now, I thought about like cutting these separate, but I wanted it to wrap through, kind of. So cutting it after you've done some stamping, I think is a pretty fun way 
because then it, it's really, it looks like it all fits together. Plus I think it actually saves time, so I don't know. Our relaxing guy, he's got a pretty easy life here, but because it's his birthday, you know, he deserves a break. It's a very cool card. I know it's pink here with the um, lovely lipstick, but I think that it mas it's more and more a masculine color now, pink. And it's a really bright pink. It's not a baby pink. So the colors I used here, are, a lot of them are suggested for this tropical, timeless tropical or tropical oasis suite. So, um, but they did not suggest the um, lovely lipstick. So, but I thought it was a really nice touch. Okay, so here is our inside, and I think I got everything. Just looking it over, yes, we have everything there. So now we close it up, and we're gonna work on our front. Now I kept the front pretty simple, because this card is a very busy card, and we do not need too much. So here's the, my front, but I, I'll explain a few techniques I did. So I sponge this, um, this is Sahara sand, and I sponge the Sahara sand um, over this to pick it up, the brick and, what is it called? No, that's the old one. It's called brick and mortar. Oh, that is right. Brick and mortar, um, embossed paper, and you can see it's really pretty. I want it really like understated because the inside of the card is the real show. So. Um, one of the things I did, I went ahead and stamped this and punched it out and I used this um, everyday label punch. And a really simple way of layering this is you just layer it like that. Super easy. So just, you know, just make it even and that's it, <laughs> like that. So I will go ahead and add that. Just like so. And you could even stop here if you wanted it really, really simple. But, you know, we want a little bit of a glimpse, right? So here is my flower. And I am gonna go ahead and add that little circle because I like it to be uniform with everything. And for this one, I will pop it up. I did not add any dimensionals on the inside of the card, and that was intentional because you want to be able to um, close this, and it already is very, very bulky. So, okay, so before I add that, I'm gonna go ahead and attach these two together. So which way do I want it? Let's do this way this time. Okay, so. Just add a little there. Oh, well, it's going to be like that. <laughs> so you just add them together, and then you don't have to do the whole thing. What I want to do, is that sitting? Yeah, it'll stick. Is I want it to look kind of like that. I think that looks pretty good. Oh yeah, and then I forgot about my, oh yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, so final step, I have made a figure eight looping some baker's twine, some white baker's twine around my fingers. So you just take like three fingers and loop it around and then you take this and make a figure eight and then add a glue dot. But I went ahead and did that ahead because you then have to kind of pull it apart and make it look pretty, which sometimes is much harder than it looks. And there you have this nice little touch without being a traditional bow. So good for a masculine card maybe, <laughs> I was thinking. So here's our card. Now it's pretty bulky, so this isn't going to be too graceful getting this on. And you can see I cut out some of this so I can use the paper and then just put some scratch white paper here. So it's not gonna, that's why we wanted to add 
this mat after we add all the, the sentiment, etc., because it's just kind of hard to work with. Because of now imagine now placing things, so re definitely recommend that. Okay, ooh, it's a little crooked. Come on, yes, I got it straight. Yay! All right, so here is the accordion card, which I am going to call my mural because it's just so stinking adorable. It will make a great card to give someone special, and it's just fabulous I think this new set so it's tropical timeless timeless tropical and I think it's a lot of gonna be a lot of fun and a really popular set and I'm so excited to have it so stay tuned for more sneak peek videos of the new stamp sets I'm looking forward to posting more so happy stamping if you have any stamping needs please email me at mewants3 at gmail.com and I'll be happy to help you place an order with a host code. If you have any questions about this card, don't hesitate to email me or leave a comment below. And let me know if you love Trader Joe's too, because that's one of my favorite stores. All right, have a great day and happy stamping.